What's a man got to do to get that kind of attention from you? It's hard to say exactly, but you seem to be doing fine. Well, great. Though truth is, it ain't me that wants you. Oh? No, Miss Jacqueline Natler does, from Natler Technologies. You know, creator of all things bright and beautiful. <laughs> Seal it, Larson. Ma'am. Feast your eyes on this, Lara. How does that make your wallet rumble? I'm sorry. I only play for sport. Then you'll like a big park. Peru. Vast mountain ranges to cover. Sheer walls of ice. Rocky crags. Savage winds. And there's this little trinket. An age-old artifact of mystical power is buried in the unfound tomb of Qualapec. That's my interest. You could leave tomorrow. Are you busy tomorrow? Alright guys, welcome to the first level of Tomb Raider 1. This level is called Caves. And we are in Peru right now, going through a set of caves up in the snow, I guess. Anyhow, there's a dart trap right up here that comes. How to avoid it, you just run in the middle, you run and jump, stay in the middle, and you should avoid the darts. We're going to keep going, we're going to turn right up here. When she gets here, she's going to look to the left. That is the main route which you will take. But what we can do right now is we can proceed on this way, and we can collect our first secret. Now, what Laura can do in this game is when she gets up here, you can either press jump and grab the ledge, or you can press and hold action and forward and she'll climb up. She will not do it on this ledge because it's not a platform you can stand on. When you climb up on this, she'll slide. So what you would have to do is jump first and then press action. Then you climb up, she's going to slide, and what you'll have to do is jump forward and press and hold action and then press up for her to come up. That chiming sound means you've found a secret. This secret is a small med pack, which is not bad. So now we're going to go our main route back this way. When I get up here, there's going to be bats. So I can go ahead and pull out my standard set of pistols. The bats only take one shot to kill if you do it correctly. Yep, that did it. So secret number two is over this way to the left. When I get over here, there's a little... There's a little crevice in the right. So what you can do when you jump Laura might not grab the ledge but what you can do is press and hold action and up and she'll climb up and we'll find secret number two and there's another bat in the secret number two alcove or whatever this is and we'll get our second 
med pack. We're doing pretty well. Now, when you come out of here, what you might do to avoid health damage is you'll back up and hang from the ledge to reduce the fall. And then she'll drop down. She doesn't take any. Sometimes, if you just run off an edge, you could be playing with fire. So now I'm going to come this way, which is our main route. And we're going to take a left turn. We're going to jump down here. Now we're in this big open room in the cave. There's a little hole down here that we would want to go through. Down here there's going to be a switch that's going to open the door right in front of me. So I pull the switch, I go through the door, and there's going to be a bat in this room. Now this door, there's no way to go through this door, but we will be on the other side later on in the level. So where I'm going to go now is there's a little alcove up here that I can climb into and I can proceed on. This is going to lead me to a room with a bunch of bridges and I'm going to be ambushed by wolves when I get into the next room, but as long as I don't fall to the ground I should be safe. So you see there's some wolves. That one was sleeping. I woke him up. Let me see. So we're going to go across this bridge, and Laura still hasn't killed the wolves. What I'm going to go ahead and do now, there's another bridge here that I need to go across. We will be back down there later, or, well, it's optional, you don't have to, but I like to get everything I can. So now what I'm going to do is come over here, there's like a little ditch we're going to come across up here. There is a bear down there so you can see it's best that you kill the bear before you go in there because he can do some serious damage if he gets to you let me see let me fix the controls see it. Alright, what I'm going to go ahead and do is drop down. Oh look, he comes out right... he gets right into position to attack me right when I hang from the ledge. Alright, that took care of him, so I'm going to back up, hang. Now, in this area, there isn't anything, but you go in here, there's a, a couple of bats you kill. The bats are super easy. They're mostly just annoying. You put your weapons away, and you can look and see that this is a tile-based game. So if you look, there's a tile that starts here, and it ends about here. And then the next tile is from here to the wall. Now, you need to know that this is a tile-based game, because that comes to your advantage at doing this well. On this tile here, there's a med pack. Now, when you see a tile that looks different from the others, that can be an indicator that the tile means something. Like, this tile looks different from the others, and because it looks different, it's a switch that uh, opens that door. So I'm going to do that, come through here, and then I'm just going to run and jump up onto that bridge, or I'm going to screw up. But I think... If I do this right, I can do it. Yep. So we're going to go back the way we went before. 
across this bridge, and then we're going to get back over to that ditch with the bear, but we're not going to go in there this time. This time we're just going to jump across and proceed on with the level. And sometimes what you might want to do to be on the safe side is walk to the ledge, because if you walk, she won't go off it, but if you run, she will. So you can, when you walk to the edge, you can take a step back and then run and jump. Sometimes you want to look behind these pillars because you can find goodies. I think it's on the other side. Yep, there's a small med pack. So I'm going to go to the other side, look behind this pillar, and pick up a small med pack before I proceed on to the next room. In the next room, I'm going to get ambushed by wolves, but the wolves are relatively easy to kill, so they're not too bad. See, there's that music. The music will keep playing regardless, but uh, there's a secret over here behind these plants. You have to look at it carefully, but there's a little passageway here that's going to lead to another secret. It's going to be a large med pack. So I'm going to pick that up and go back out this way and go down to where the wolves were. I'm going to go across here. Uh, on this side, there's going to be a switch. This switch is going to open uh, that big set of double doors over there. I'm going to do a side flip onto these steps, and then I'm going to come to this switch, press action to pull it, so I'm going to come up this set of steps, there's going to be another dart trap when I get up here, it's best to do the same thing as before, stay in the middle, run, and jump. And when I get up here, there's going to be a wolf that spawns, so I'm going to pull out my pistols and take care of him. Now, if you guys remember me telling you this game is tile-based, you can look at the tiles and you see these two tiles look different from the others. These are breakable tiles, so what I'm going to do is stand on one and I'm going to fall through. Now, you typically have to be careful of the breakable tiles because... Although I knew that on this level the tiles would lead me to another room that I needed to get to, many of the breakable tiles will lead you to a long fall to death, or to spikes, or to lava, something involving death, and you don't want that. So what I'm going to do now is go this way. There is a ditch over here that we're going to go down into because there's that set of double doors we have to open, but we need to pull the switch first. So before I go down there, I'm going to go around this way because if we fall, we will take damage. So I'm going to go this way, run, jump. I'm going to pull out my guns, because there will be a wolf that spawns when I get about halfway down here. And then I'm going to pick up this large med pack, and when I get further on this way, there's going to be a lever that I pull to open the set of double doors. Yep. This is the final room of the level. So I'm going to go around this way, drop down, and I should avoid taking any damage if I do it right from here. So you see this door, this is the door I told you guys about earlier. We were on the other side. And that's the little alcove that we went into if you look th that way. Now we're on the other side, but we could never open that door. There's a dart trap, just keep doing it. Uh, run, jump, stay in the middle. And uh, this should be the end of the level. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment below. Stay tuned till next time. Thank you.